What is going on anyone? I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and I'm here to give you guys my most up-to-date room tour video. It's been the most requested item here on my channel. Not only have I gotten quite a few items, but I've also changed some things around so I figured a much more updated room tour was necessary. So let me go ahead and first by giving you guys a quick overview of my entire workspace, in this case my desk. Now the most common question I get is James where did you get the desk and the two black cabinets? I got these off a construction job site because back then I did demolition and the cool part about the job is that if there was any furniture within the building that you wanted to keep as long as you could haul it away you get to keep it no charge whatsoever. So before we get into sections of the room, I just want to quickly go over both of these black cabinets do feature lighting on the bottom. There's a switch on each side and these do open up and roll in, which I'll show you that right now. So pretty cool stuff there. So now that we got the overview of the desk out of the way, let's go ahead and take a closer look at each of the different sections within my room. So we're going to go ahead and start things off on the right hand side, in this case on the shelving unit. As you can see on the top, on the far left, I do have a figurine of Edward Kenway from Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, the Joker from Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. I also have a figurine from the Brothers in Arms Hell Highway Collectors. A set of the Halo Reach from PlayArt's action figure Kai, the Bat Ring from Batman Arkham Asylum, I believe it's called a Paracord Strap which I got from the Call of Duty Ghost Collector's Edition. And right next to all that I have the RCXD from the Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, you could probably kind of notice them there but there is a Master Chief standing in between the RC car and the Tron Light Cycle. We also have the Tron Collector's Edition. We have a Star Wars figurine of Clone Commander Colt. A little flyer in the back from Medieval Times when I went there a few years ago. The box for the Batman Collector's Edition. The Hidden Blade from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The Gears of War Collector's uh, Tomb Raider items. And of course on the very top, it's kind of hard to notice, but there is a lithograph of Lara Croft herself. So anyways, I just got done showing you guys the top shelving unit on the right hand side. But as you can see, I still have some other items not only on the wall, but also on the bed. But first, let's go ahead and start over here in the very corner, which is probably hard to make out within the camera. But I do have a little storage bin here. Inside the storage bin, I do have a collection of Disney's Infinity and Skylanders. Just to kind of show you guys an example. As you can see, a collection of Skylanders and Disney's Infinity. Over on the very top, I do have my PlayStation Vita because I like to play games on it. And of course, not only that, but usually at night I pop in some Mythbusters and watch that to help me go to sleep. I know, just something about Mythbusters is just really enjoyable to watch. Um, on the very top here, I have a map of Middle Earth which came in the Lord of the Rings War in the North Collector's Edition. I do have the Assassin's Creed 3 Colonial flag from the Collector's Edition and over there is a pirate flag from a place called Pirate's Dinner Adventure which is a pretty cool place to visit if you haven't been to one of those. And as you can see on my bed I do have a Keyblade. So for those of you who played Kingdom Hearts I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly what this is. If you have not played Kingdom Hearts then the only thing I have to say is where have you been all these years? But yeah, you know, just stays on my bed, so whenever the world is in danger from Heartless, I am ready to defend myself and this world and many others out there. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I don't really have a spot to hang that. I'm thinking of hanging it right here, but I haven't decided yet. But just right now, it kind of lays there on the bed as a display piece. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and move on over to the green screen and lighting area. As you can see on this corner of the room, I do have a few different items, first of which is currently where my green screen is set up and my newly added lighting kits of which I got off of Amazon for about $120. Just to kind of give you guys a quick look at these kits. I'm not going to plug it in or anything like that, I've done that in a previous video. But these are flat panel soft boxes which goes for about $120 on Amazon. It's a three piece set and it does include a carrying bag. I do have these set up in three different spots in my room for proper lighting. So when I'm using my green screen, everything is good when I make my gaming news videos here on Gamer Fusion. So, like I 
said, all of them are exactly the same, so there's no point of switching them out. I just have them set up in different ways. Uh, for example, this one right here would go on the left-hand side. The smaller one towards the center will go on top of my desk on the right, and the one that's set up to the tallest will go towards the center, uh, right behind where I have my webcam set up. So that's pretty much how I set up my lighting kit. Over here on the left hand side is a DVD rack containing a various items such as games for the PS2, PS3, PS4, and the PlayStation Vita. So yeah, a lot of PlayStation items here. I have a few Xbox 360s as well in terms of games and then uh, Blu-ray and DVDs. Over here on my right hand side is an 80 gallon tank which houses two adult female bearded dragons. And you guys are in luck because one of them happens to be awake during the hibernation. So let me go ahead and bring her out so I can give you guys a little bit of a closer look. one is currently still in a hibernation state or beer nation I th I, there's a term that everyone's using for bearded dragons i think it's called beer nation or something like that but anyways the one i just showed you her name is lara because she's tricky every time i set up an area to keep them contained she always finds a way to ex escape except for the tank they're currently in um so she's pretty creative so that's why i called her Lara. and uh, the other one is stacy so anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys what I have set up lower over here, and then we're going to go ahead and continue the room tour. Now right underneath the Beater Dragons, I do have some other items as well, such as on the far left hand side, I have the bookends from the Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition, along with Collector's Edition strategy guides for Guild Wars 2, Assassin's Creed 3, and Assassin's Creed 4. The little pirate sword, as you can see, that's right in the front is for my pirate costume. On the far back end, as you can see, there's a DVD collector's edition of Wanted, a figurine of Killzone from the Killzone 3 collector's edition, a photo that came from the Batman Arkham Origins collector's edition. Towards the back, I do have a play arts figure of Lara Croft, which came with that collector's edition, and the collector's edition for Final Fantasy 13-2. And right below that, I do have a ton of magazines, uh, which are from the Game Informer, because I am subscribed to the GameStop Heart Rewards, so I do get those Game Informer magazines every single month. And it's a nice good read, because you, you, know, you always find some interesting facts or some new games coming out. And also, too, kind of right next to that, I do have like a big, massive collection of video game art books. I'm trying to find a proper storage, but right now that's kind of where I have them set up. So anyways, let's go ahead and continue on to the desk area. So here is the very first part of my three piece set for my desk. So over here I have a 19 inch TV which is currently hooked up to the PlayStation 3. So oftentimes my little brothers come out and they play some Battlefield Bad Company 2 or Battlefield 3 which is pretty cool that they're getting into Battlefield which I'm actually happy about. Over here I do have a couple of different controllers. Uh, this is my little brother's controller that he likes to use uh, which is from Power A. And then over here is the Battlefield 4 controller, which you can get for both the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. And I do have some nice coasters from the GameStop Rewards. Uh, little power symbols, I do have one in red and one in green, which is over there. So now let's go ahead and get to the second part of the desk. Over here is the centerpiece of my desk. Now this is normally what you would set up your computer system. Uh, that way you have much more open area to work with. But with my situation, since I'm currently running off of Wi-Fi, I'm unable to put the desk in the spot that I would like it to go. So in the meantime, this is where everything is set up. Over there on the corner is where the PlayStation 3 is. Towards the back is a machine gun lamp. Some clinch bags from the GameStop rewards. Over here is a Turtle Beach. I forget what 
X12 gaming headset, which I use for the PC. And in the center right here is where I keep any items I currently need to do a review for. In this case, I need to do a review for Thief. And a headset product, which was sent to me from Gamer Fusion, which is the Triton Kama gaming headset. So this is more like my reminder, it's like, okay, I need to do videos for this, or I need to do a review. So that's basically where I keep my items at. So now let's go ahead and get to the final piece. So over here is the final part of my desk. As you can see, I currently have two 32 inch TVs. This one is currently hooked up to the PlayStation 4 and I'm actually getting ready to play Basement Crawl because I just got done downloading the game. Over here is the DualShock 4 controller, phone, wallet, typical stuff there. Um, over here is a gaming keyboard by Razer. It's a mechanical keyboard, which is the Battlefield 4 themed. I do eventually want to get the matching mouse and headset to kind of go with it, or even the mouse pad. Over here is a gaming mouse from SteelSeries, which is a Diablo 3. I do want to get the Razer mouse, the one that has like those 9, nine or 10 buttons off the side. Uh, but eventually I'll get that, but right now, you know, that was like 20 bucks at Walmart, so I figured why not. The Crosshair Gaming Mouse Pad, I actually just got this a few days ago. It was on sale at Best Buy for about 11 bucks. I do have some Logitech speakers. I do have a subwoofer underneath my desk. And over here is where my PC is obviously hooked up at, because you basically see with the reflection off my webcam playing on the TV screen. So let's go ahead and take a closer look above my desk where I have all my collector's edition statues and all the typical fun stuff. Now on the very top of my two black cabinets, I do have other different statues from different collector's editions, so I'm just going to go over the names of the games. Here we have Halo Reach, which says it right here on the rock. Over here is from Gears of War 3, and over here is from Assassin's Creed 3. So let's go ahead and take a look on the other side. Over on the other black cabinet, we have the statue from the Injustice Gods Among Us, Killzone 3, and of course, Skyrim. Now before we move on over to my custom PC, let's go ahead and take a quick look as to what is in these black cabinets, starting on the far right hand side. I don't really have much in this one, most likely like deodorants, um, some other items. I do have a couple interesting items here. First off, it is my role-playing gauntlets from Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Here is the hidden blade. This has a safety mechanism, so they pop out. So this goes with my pirate costume once again, because I like to wear that costume, because I think I look good in it. Don't judge me. And the other item is... The tactical camera from the Call of Duty Ghost Prestige Edition that I got on sale at GameStop. Here is the camera. 1080p. You could also do 720 as well. It comes with a 4 gig memory card. It comes with a head mount so you can mount it to your head. So if you want to get to the tactical feedback. It also comes with mounts so you could attach it to a bicycle. I could even attach it to my airsoft and paintball gun if I wanted to but I don't really trust taking this out honestly on a paintball airsoft field because of the, you know, it's not fully heavy duty, that's why. But that is what is in the first cabinet. Over on this other side, I do have some pretty cool items here. Right off the bat is my Gunner's Gaming Glasses, which I like to wear when I'm gaming pretty much anytime, anywhere. Uh, people often ask me, do the Gunners actually work or what's the main purpose here? Well, for anyone who suffers from eye fatigue, this, these definitely help out a lot. Not only that, they also have a good contrast and the stuff on the screen zooms in a little bit. So at first it's awkward, but once you get the hang of it, these are actually really great to have. Now, of course, I do get up often. I do stretch. I do do outdoor activities. So it's not like I'm sitting here 24-7, not getting involved in the outside world. But like I said, I do suffer from eye fatigue when I'm not wearing these. So these do help out a lot. Over here is the Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix that I'm containing up here and basically right next to my Play Arts King Mickey. 
So of course when, you know, 2.5 Remix comes out, I'll be adding that one up here along with this one. Over here, it contains a couple of my favorite items, which is the Elder Scrolls Authology Collection, only found on the PC, so a must-have for any Elder Scrolls fans. And one of my other personal favorites when it comes to an art book, which is the art book from the Elder Scrolls. This is currently one of my favorites in my collection, and looking forward to hopefully adding the one from the Elder Scrolls Online Collector's Edition. So there's that one. Over here is my gaming headset. Featuring 7.1 virtual surround sound, which is the PlayStation Pulse wireless gaming headset, which you can get for about 130 or less depending on where you go. That's really it about here. I just have some extra dog tags, loose change, and keychains, so nothing really special in there. So anyways, that what well, that is what is in my black cabinets. So over on the final portion of my room is where my custom gaming PC is located along with my PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 is located on the right hand side of the PC currently standing up if you're not able to tell. Because as you can see the PC takes up all the space and does not like to share. Um, that PC was given to me from GamerFusion.com which I got about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, which is pretty cool as a partnership perk because I've been with the company for a couple years and I was rewarded with a custom PC. Now the LED lights as you can see from the fans were not included, those I added, but everything else within the PC is pretty sweet which I'll go over the specs in here in just a moment. I did add a pretty sweet Wi-Fi adapter which is 100% better than my old one. And it's even signed by the CEO if you can look on the corner of the case where the F is located, you could make out a black mark that is a signature from the CEO from the company, uh, which is actually the first signature I've ever received before, so I'm pretty proud of that. Now in terms of the specs of what's inside besides of it looking cool, is it does feature the Corsair Hydro H75 CPU water cooler. It also has the GeForce GTX 770. Intel Core i7 4770K with the CPU of 3.50 GHz, 16 gigabytes of RAM, which I'll be upgrading to 32 gigabytes of RAM. It also features the Microsoft Windows 8.1, and what I like about how they have it set up is they have it set up to where it's exactly like Windows 7 without the annoying functions of Windows 8, which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, that is it in terms of this corner. So anyways, that is it for my room tour video. I hope you guys appreciate the tour and feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm Sir James from Gamer Fusion and remember, Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming.